This is more than a nice surprise. This is behavior you don't see often. Now that is quarantine. And if you listen really carefully, you can hear a low growl. Now that is quarantine and about 30, 40, actually 40 meters away is Tingana. And they're growling at each other. Now, I find this quite strange that Tingana hasn't tried to sort out young quarantine. Well, maybe he has, and we, 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 we're witnessing the aftermath. But there's heavy growling going on. Now, we can see it's not a Mvula just because of his back. Now, Mvula has a landing strip that sort of goes up his tail. His spots are very symmetrical from his tail up his back. And you see, oh, listen to that. That's Tinkana growling. So, he's showing a bit of almost sort of indifference to quarantine. I mean, he's got his back to him. Now, I doubt he would do that with an adult male. And And quarantine is, is, is growling back, but not, not quite to the same timber. Now, the reason Tingana might be so tolerant, I mean, this is right, right at the edge of his, his range. Now, oh, heads up. Oh, there's zebra just behind him. Yeah, look up a bit. There, there we are. There's zebra walking towards a three in a row pan on cheetah plans. Now that's a bit big, and this is a baby for, for the leopards. Oh, quick, uh, this side. He's just stood up. Oh, look at that. Isn't that a fantastic shot? If he looks back at us with that um, buffalo skull. Now, it's going to be interesting to see whether he decides, now that Tingana is not watching him, to slink away. Look at that, isn't that good? I hope you guys are getting screenshots. Remember to share them with us on our Facebook page, Safari Live, or uh, pop them on any of the many Facebook groups uh, that our fans have. And if we look carefully there, you can see that the soil attached to his, his jowls, his bottom jaw there. And that's, that's from growling and, and he's been salivating a lot. So when he's li laid down, the sand is stuck to him. Now, we've seen this with Karula and, and, and Shadow before. That they, they salivate a lot when they're arguing. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that... I know, everything is happening. Out of nowhere, this beetle bounced off my face and landed on my finger. Um, I'm not quite sure what type of beetle it is. Ooh, 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 ooh. Sorry, forget the beetle. The growling is going on. He just lifted his head. Now, I'm sure you guys can identify. I'm, I'm not 100% that it's Tingana yet. Um, it's definitely not in Vula. I'm trying to have a look. It does look like Tingana, but we are quite far away. I was wondering if it could be Shivambalan, but I think it is Tingana. Oh, Quarantine's trying to sneak away. So he's taking the opportunity. Uh, Tingana is focused on the zebra. So he's trying to sneak away. So I'm just going to be on the game drive for a second. Sean, Sean. Okay, guys. Ooh, 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 ooh. Watch quarantine. Now just to the left of him, walking up the road right towards him. And you can see his behavior. He's sneaking around at some zebra. Now, the zebra have spotted him. Now, unless there's a foal there, 
the zebra are, are quite safe. Now, if there's a, an aggressive stallion, look at quarantine, he's scent marking. Cheeky little devil. <laughs> he scent marks and looks back to see if Tingan has reacted, which he hasn't. He had the zebra snort. <laughs> the zebra snorting on either side. So the zebra in front of quarantine and the zebra behind uh, behind Tingana. Oof. He's being very cheeky. See, he's he's now giving himself a little bit more distance. Now he's growling back. Well, Terry's wondering if quarantine and Tingana aren't brothers. They're, they're not related, in fact as far as I know, but his brother has been causing, well, Quarantine's brother is Kunyuma, who has been causing a lot of havoc down to the south around the Sand River. Ooh, it's all good.